I've been accused on this show of trying to get my guests in trouble. Really? Which I don't think is fair. Anyway, next question. In your opinion, what's the funniest bit of the Quran? Would you prefer actor, comedian, or does funny little videos? Does funny little videos. What platform are we talking first? Twitter. Twitter's dead, man. No, it's not. I've heard all the kids are on Stormfront. I do. All the white kids. I've done some great theatres in my time, you know, Opera House in Sydney. and Newport. Where's the favourite place you've ever performed? Your bedroom or your kitchen? Um, my bedroom. Why is that? I think kitchens are, um, the, the light's very harsh. Mm. And why is that? Because in my kitchen it's soft. Why is it soft? You don't want to see my wife eat. We just had some building work done actually to make it easier for her to get around. Got rid of the table in the kitchen, just a fucking trough. The uh, surveyor came in and said, uh, well you want, you know, if you get in the trough, you don't want a fucking strip light and you want something soft, moody lights, you know. Just enough so she can see what she's putting in that snout. Gosh, I oh. What's the first video you put up? In the Black Lives Matter protests, they were taking down statues of slave traders. Mm. And then I played this character who was really angry about it and saying it was ruining democracy. You do a pro-slavery video and then and then people start following you. And the next, what's the next one? I mean, I think it's clear to say that I'm not pro-slavery. This is your living now. Sort of, yeah. yeah. How does it work? You put, you put your sort of slavery video up and then are people like going, fuck, this is fucking it. Fucking, it's been 100, hundreds of years. And finally, some fuck is coming out. And so they just start sort of sneaking your coin underneath your door. I don't think I don't think anyone's giving me money who. You know, like the tooth fairy, um, you leave out a like this, underneath your door. This as your your door well, underneath your front door. I don't, door, I don't know just, what's going to do with. It's like, keep doing with, the slavery videos. <laughs> uh, you know, quick fire questions. We just. First thing comes to your head. Okay. Fish or chips? Fish. Ant or deck? A uh, deck. What should society do with transgender prisoners? <laughs> Put them in the, in the, um, sometimes uh, an interview will happen um, between a commentator and and I'll cut the footage so it's me being interviewed instead. And then yeah, I'll that's what that's what, on a that's what they call fake news, hours. isn't it? Fake news, yeah, exactly. But it's not. Sort of it's not things, fake because it's sort of uh, making things worse. It confuses people. <laughs> it's a joke. So I don't think because people, people, think, it's do get people think it's real. Yeah, they do. They do think it's real. Yeah. But I'm not trying to trying to. They say it's they say it's people. poisoning society. Drip drip. No one's saying it's poisoning society. And you're making yeah. that fake news. <laughs> no, I, no, I, yeah. I don't think so. I, but, think, um, <laughs> I think that's. What do your parents think about what you do? In your little videos. Well, they don't. They don't. Um, they don't call them little videos. What do they? What do they, what do they say about they, you? They. They. like them. Fucking They're, aesthetic um, sketches. What do they say? They don't say that. I guess it's hard for the older generations to understand what what counts as work now. Just always comparing themselves to what you know the generation before did. That was work. And my granddad. Uh, he was the he was the town kink shamer. Sorry, what? He was the town kink shamer. My granddad. So his job. Mm. Up at the crack of dawn, he'd be knocking on the doors. Hello? He'd be like, who's there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? I fucking saw that. I saw you fucking disgusting. House after house after house. Um, how and did he it, make money from that? Like a protection racket. Okay. I know what you I know what you fucking do in your house. I know what you're doing there. Was he always doing that? Yeah, yeah. Was no one king shaming him? I know what you're doing in there. <laughs> Well, this is the thing. Here's King. What's going on with his house? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Yeah, what are you doing in there? I had one video where I had a, a quite a large, a, a few hundred people who were calling for me to be cancelled. Was that the pro-slavery one? <laughs> Not the pro. No. There, can, there's, there's no pro-slavery videos. My wife does loads of characters like you, actually. Oh, yeah? What, yeah. Like what? I like to call her. She, she's like the seven dwarves. If the seven dwarves were fat, 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 angry, violent, fat, that's a fuck. We've got to so put the call out for followers of Rosie who are under 10. They're funniest jokes. They love your stuff. Uh, Nina, aged six. What's small, brown and stuffed full of ketchup bottles? Daddy's asshole. Now, Nina, listen, you've got to give your dad some space, all right? <laughs> Every man needs a release. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Family life is tough. 
I don't think that. Nina's dad, you've got to fucking triple lock your study. You want to be fucking. <laughs> Anything you'd like to... <laughs>